You know, they say twins have an uncanny, almost psychic ability to read each other's minds. Well, if that's so, it comes in handy for the talented twins you're about to meet. Susan Watson takes us to Memphis, where a couple of brothers are making a name for themselves, painting together on one canvas. Meet Terry and Jerry Lynn. Yes, they are identical twins, and yes, they have a lot in common, most notably a love and talent for art. We've been drawing and painting since, since I can remember. It's one of those things that just kind of came naturally to both of us. We've always been, been very competitive, um, just you know, trying to compete against each other, really. And art was one of those things that we tried to like outdo the other. You know, I tried to like you know, draw better than him or things like that. But you know, sports that was something we were always interested in growing up. So that we wanted to be basketball players. Yeah, but, yeah, but um, <laughs> yeah, the height, subject. yeah, the height and um, talent really didn't um, lend itself to that um, endeavor. They attended the University of Memphis on academic scholarships. Starting out in architecture and engineering, they soon changed their major to art, deciding to do what they really loved and to do it together. It really all depends on the piece. Sometimes we are, I may start a piece by myself and uh, my brother may come in and finish the painting, but usually we'll be working on the canvas at the same time. Each piece, it, it really varies. Sometimes we may spend a couple of weeks on a piece. Sometimes it may take months for a piece to finally complete itself. Sometimes we may plan a piece and looking at different research materials. Uh, a lot of times we have a lot of photographs laying around our studio, um, a lot of historical uh, photographs from like family picture albums, pictures from, from friends and so forth, old pictures like 20, 1930s, 1920s, that type of thing. And, and we we'll use a lot of those images in our work, and sometimes that may inspire a piece or start a piece from just looking at a photograph. But sometimes, um, you know, it's very spontaneous. It's just, you know, we we'll just go in the studio and start painting and let the paint, um, let us, we we'll usually just follow, follow the paint and let the paint lead us. Once a work is completed, Terry or Jerry will sign the canvas twin. And, and while the novelty of twins painting together is great for attracting attention, it is ultimately the powerful images that these two creative minds produce that leave viewers spellbound. Lately, uh, we've been doing a lot of subjects, you know, a lot of a lot of pieces dealing with um, just the South, you know, the Southern experience, you know, our Southern experience. Um, growing up in Arlington, right outside of Memphis, and just. Um, our personal relationship to this area and at the same time um, being young artists you know we're also influenced by uh, what's going on outside of the south you know hip-hop and you know the, the urban culture a lot of that um, is kind of mixed in with what, what we're doing now with the bright colors and um, vibrant colors and so forth so it's kind of a mix of um, our personal experiences here in the South, growing up in the South, in Tennessee, plus um, just the influences of being a young um, black male. Terry and Jerry recently had a second solo exhibition of their work at the David Lusk Gallery in Memphis, entitled Rhythm and Roots, A Love Story. Gallery owner David Lusk says their current work appears to retell old stories through a modern filter. They've said all along that they're painting, you know, the stories that they remember growing up with and growing up around. Those are still coming out, but I think what's coming out with them right now is, is again, their age and their spirit and, and more of what's been new and exciting during their 28 or 29 years. It's not just the history of ancestors, but they're adding their own time to it. Our work is constantly changing. I mean, that's really the... That's really our job, um, to keep pushing ourselves to um, come up with different ways of creating, different ways of uh, presenting ourselves. So um, with that said, yeah, the work is constantly changing and growing. The work is colorful pieces, textured paintings, images that deal with the South. Just playing off that word rhythm and roots, you know, Memphis being 
known for the blues, known for um, rock and roll and all these um, great musical heritage here. It's kind of playing off, off of that and the work in its, in its own way kind of reflects um, music, not only just imagery wise, but just the feel of the work, the rhythm of the work. You know, we just had a lot of fun doing the show. We had a lot of fun painting, painting the work. It was a lot of work. It's over 200 small paintings in the show and um, close to 15 large pieces in the show. And it's precisely the work, the painting, the creating, where their passion lies. We really have more fun painting and creating more so than um, looking at the finished product. I think a lot of artists would probably say the same thing, that the creative process is was um, the, the most enjoyable part of, of painting and where we get the most benefit because we're learning, growing, ready to take what we learn in that particular piece to the next piece. So that's where we get our um, joy from, not the finished product and the finished painting. Um, that's the viewer's um, joy, is looking at the final the finished piece or the final creation. Well, I really hope they enjoy it enjoy the artwork and, and be moved by the, by the work. We put our heart into our paintings and hopefully, you know, when, when someone looks at the work, they're, they're moved by it.